Cancers, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So, Cancers, I am here to do your daily love update. Um, and you know what? I'm feeling really groovy today. Do you feel groovy, Cancer? You're just kind of like, yeah, man, this is this is good. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, just groovy today. Um, this reading is for the collective cancer. It is not going to resonate with all of you, all right? Um, so please just take what does resonate and leave what doesn't. Um, and thank you to everyone for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything. You guys have been absolutely wonderful to me. Thank you so much, Cancers. We're all growing here together, and I love, I love everything that you do that helps this channel grow, right? All right, so guys, we are going to cut the deck and see what we've got for today's energy. Okay, your person still is in this position. Yep, and they're having a, they know this is coming to an end. They can't, uh, they can't hold this position anymore. Something here has to give. This is man down in a lot of pain. A lot of pain. Wish fulfillment here. Yeah, they, they really want to talk. Cancer, this is someone wanting to take action. This is, this, look, this is how I'm reading this. This stagnancy is literally killing your person. This silence um, the fact that they've stood here for so long that now they, they fully realize that all the emotion is kind of sucked dry, right? Their ships can't come in. This is a person who, it's literally putting them under. Um, and all they want to do is talk to you. This is someone who's known that you are their wish fulfillment, but they sat here and they hid it in this third party situation for a very long time you know and they're in a lot of pain being separated from you okay so this is someone who's like I've got to end this this stagnancy in this third party situation it's got to come to an end I want to go after my my ten of cups my wish fulfillment my cancer you know this is really swift action being taken a lot of communication coming in I'm seeing a lot of lengthy explanations okay uh, if it's coming in like a text message or an email or something you're gonna get a lot of long paragraphs um, I feel like they they just want to spill everything to you okay um, Wow, that started off pretty strong. Yeah, the stagnancy and this standing in this situation is literally killing this person. I mean, not literally, but, you know, they can't take it anymore. Yeah, they want this to come to an end. They want this crossroads energy to come to an end. Death. So that they can move forward to their happiness here, I feel. And I feel like this is them waking up, you know, bing, like a light bulb going off is kind of what I'm getting. And it's connecting the two. See these rays connecting death, death of this situation and a beginning to a new one, you know, like in order to get this happiness, something needs to end and they need to speak up. They need to take some kind of action in order to get what it is that they want, which is you, Cancer. This person's thinking about you. It's your reading, darling. <laughs> yeah. All right, what else can you show me? You could be dealing with, um, well, so far, right up front, we've got Scorpio and Leo. Okay, Scorpio and Leo so far. Could be a fire sign as well. Well, Leo. All right. What else can you show us here for cancer? I think this person may be worried about possibly competition. I also think they are kind of, of just a bit stuck in their head here, you know? Yeah. <laughs> 
earth sign, right? Um, fairly slow moving, um, pretty much a logical, analytical thinker sort of thing, okay? Um, they put a lot of thought, uh, they go through these scenarios and it's just like one scenario after the next. Um, I, it's just a lot of overthinking and slow movement. Yeah, I feel like this person, um, they could even, like I said, this other wand here that is, like, attached to the wall, that could be someone that they're committed to. This is usually someone who's in a commitment, the King of Pentacles, okay? Um, yeah, I feel like this is them battling their own mind, you know? stuck in their head kind of thing. I know it's it's not that kind of card, but it is that um, inner turmoil, I guess, is what I want to say. Like an inner turmoil. Really wanting to come forward to you, but I, I feel like there's, there's someone who's very clingy with this person because of this one little bracket. That's bugging me, right? That little bracket right there. It's like it's permanently attached to the wall, right? And you're moving forward. You've graduated from, from this last cycle, and now you're stepping from the last cycle into a brand new, a brand new, new one. <laughs> Retrograde. Yeah, a brand new, new one, Cancer, and everyone is watching you, okay? And you're beautiful, and you're glowing, and you're stunning, and this, look at all the green around you, see that? That's all of the abundance completely, like, surrounding you, um, all because you did the work. You did the work, the universe saw it. This is universal energy saying, the last cycle, cycle is over, baby. It's time to start this awesome one. And here you go, stepping right into it. Very, very intuitive. Showing the world, like, maybe a special ability or skill or talent that you have. Showing yourself to the world, okay? And all eyes seem to be on you. The universe is seeing everything that you're accomplishing, too. And I feel like your person feels like a fool because you really would be their happiness here. But you're, you're confident and healed and you're going it alone here. Um, at least stepping into the new cycle right? I feel like abundance is coming to you in all areas, so I really have been getting that new love is coming in. But I feel like right now, this person, this King of Pentacles here, that could be your twin flame, your soulmate, or a deep level soulmate, okay? Or Gemini, your person could be a Gemini as well. But yeah, I feel like if you look at this card, you, you are on a spiritual journey, okay? Whatever it is that you're doing, you're, you're learning about yourself and um, healing, okay? Healing yourself to the guidance of the divine. And you're really just paying attention to what God wants you to do here. You know what I mean? And it's, it's making you be um, very knowledgeable and very abundant. The divine, you're just following the little messages that they're giving you, okay? Um, very, you're really paying attention to, to the divine here. But your person... They're only focused on you, Cancer. Look at their dark eyes, too. It's sunken in. This person's not sleeping at night. They're not sleeping. And if they are, they're getting downloads. They're um, dreaming about you, maybe even having nightmares. But I don't see them sleeping a lot. I see them only focused on you. You know, you. Their happiness. The person who is elevating, leveling up because you're getting those divine messages, right? Moving you forward pulling you up um, one level at a time but you're 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 moving fast you're um, it's you're very you're glowing brilliantly okay for all to see I think you're kind of um you're an example 
I think the divine is kind of having you show yourself to the world as an example of what you can accomplish when you take your guidance from from God. Um, you're like, um, yeah, you're like an example for all to see in accomplishing everything that you are and shining so bright. Um, you're, you know, you're able to spread the word. People, it's, people are taking notice. They can't get their eyes off of you because of that divine light. Okay? Yeah, your person, I feel like, they feel like a fool. They want to take a leap of faith forward here towards you. Um, that's kind of what I'm feeling like. But they're, they're having a lot of mind conflict. A lot of conflict in like inwardly yeah but this being stagnant they can't take the stagnancy anymore they just don't know how to move towards you either they're watching you all of their attention seems to be on you while everything in their life burns to a crisp see what's behind them because they're like not, they're ignoring the messages that they're getting from the divine and they're only focused on you. You are only focused on the divine and you're succeeding and moving up level by level by level. Okay. Yeah. And going after the things that you want while they watch. See, still ignoring the messages that they need to be taking action, right? And watching you go after and get the things that are making you happy. Yeah, not wasting your time, not playing any more games. I feel like they want to speak. They're holding that sword upright here. They're getting ready to talk. I'm seeing messages in the sky here. But they just don't know how to approach you. Because they don't even know if you're going to give them the time of day. The Queen of Wands, she's like, I'm not going to waste my time on this crap. Like, for real. And she doesn't. She'll just turn around and walk away from you with you standing there still talking. <laughs> yeah. and Because she, she doesn't. She doesn't waste any more time going after what makes her happy. This is, this is someone who's been through a lot and she refuses to, you know, keep going through it. She's going after her passions now. You know, so this person is like really, they don't know how to approach. <laughs> they don't really know how to approach you. They are watching you like a hawk though, Cancer, I can tell you. They are watching you like a hawk. Yeah, but they're not saying anything. They like are for right now they're holding back communication. I do feel like they want to talk. They want to take really quick action. This sta this stagnancy. Why they keep doing this? Cuz right now at this point, I have to say they're only doing it to themselves because you're moving forward and you're doing freaking awesome. I do not see you hurting in this pic picture at all. Do you? I don't see you hurting. I see this hurting your person. And 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 they like they just keep doing the same thing. I do think that it's getting to the point where they just can't take it anymore, Cancer. I really Yeah, they can't take this stagnancy anymore. They can't take not telling you how they feel about you anymore. This person cannot, they're getting ready to pop. I'm telling you, they're getting ready to pop. And look, not only are you beautiful, gorgeous, sexy, every queen in the deck, intuitive, connected to the divine, independent, but you're also very abundant. One of the reasons why this person is afraid to come to you and open up and talk to you um, is because they very, they highly underestimated you. I mean, they kind of saw you before, maybe as um, like a seven of pentacles, like somebody who would wait 
for a long time or maybe um, someone in peasant clothing okay and then you bossed up you flipped into this the Empress and the minor arcana and now you're very abundant the most pentacles you can have in a deck technically cancer is ten and you've got nine here nine all yours just yours because guess what this is a single person a single person feminine energy usually who uh, is only focused on her and her growth and her abundance and her happiness happiness I feel like this person also treated you like the other woman perhaps yeah but um, you are you're the bag you're the woman <laughs> okay or man take it however it resonates with you you're the Empress energy you're the world yeah all of this abundance everything every queen in the deck the the intuition the success it was all in you the whole time the whole time and now all they can do they've been stagnant it's this person's mo stagnant stagnant man right <laughs> once again yeah you know what no it's it's not gender specific guys i'm sorry just having a little fun okay anyway um they can't deny this this person's getting ready to pop i'm telling you and I also i'm getting the sense that they do not want anyone else around you and we've picked up on that before cancer um yeah man well this thing's going to come to an end if they if they keep being stagnant because you are being elevated you're you're listening to the um leadership of the divine right yeah and you're a healer you're moving up like it's almost like you're you're in the public eye people are seeing everything you could be in the public eye like a spiritual healer spiritual teacher consult that kind of thing um, showing yourself, being very sexy, very confident, shining really bright. Whatever it is that you're doing, it's it's going to be very abundant. You're very good at what you do. Very intuitive. Helping to heal the world. Look at how you pour. You're already healed. So I feel like you're a healer, Cancer, um, and you're pouring that healing energy back into the world somehow with whatever it is that you're doing and it's going to become very abundant right very abundant yeah your person first they chose poorly I feel like they sacrificed you then but the whole time though the whole time this person knew that you were their wish fulfillment you were always the one that this person wished for they just hid it they hid it from everybody i think they tried to hide it from themselves as well and now it's like they really want to take this very quick action towards you but man how you know what i mean yeah this is keeping them up at night definitely that's what i'm feeling and they watch you so whatever it is you're posting online they're watching it if you're posting pictures they're seeing them all if they're looking at like who's commenting on stuff um they could be driving past your house your work judgment call here yeah this person has run out of time the the new cycle has started all of these things that this person has done each one of these wants is something that they may feel guilty for or an action that they need to take responsibility for something that they have to confront right and they've been standing here feeling like you know a wounded warrior right coming off of a battle they've been through a lot yeah but they need to take responsibility and confront all of these burdens here, all of these things that they've done. 
that are hanging over their head, right? Hanging over their head like a freaking dark cloud, carrying these heavy burdens. Um, they've literally corralled themselves into a space where they can't move forward, at least in love, until they confront this stuff. Yeah. And it's a lot. It could be lies. It could be cheating. It could be STDs. It could be, I mean, we've picked up on pretty much everything. It could be sex addictions or any other kind of addiction. It could be anything. It could be a lot. This person has been through a battle. But the divine is saying, time is up, buddy. Time's up. Look, time is up, man. Now we have to, we have to get going. So, you know, we're, the, the divine is making a judgment call on this because your person just is too afraid to step forward and do something about it, even though they want to. See, that's another thing. The universe can clearly see what's in your person's heart, who is in your person's heart, who is on their mind. The universe can see that. Otherwise, I wouldn't be getting these cards out for your reading. Okay, yeah, the universe can clearly see that this person is in love with you and can't stop thinking about you. The universe knows that this is more than likely a twin flame soulmate connection. But the universe is like, we can't keep this cycle on hold anymore. This wheel needs to turn, man. So they're like, it's time. This is them calling it, making that call. You know, are we going to give this thing a heartbeat or not? That's them calling it. Because, yeah, are we going to do this or no? This is what you can have. And this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, new beginning, happy endings. That's what the divine is trying to... Sh These are the messages they're kind of giving to your person. I do feel like once they make this call, though, you're getting new love coming in. I do, I do feel that. I think I said it before. You're getting new love, I feel, coming towards you. Because you are... Yeah, you're the empress because you're the empress you know once this cycle is once this turns right you're the empress in this too in the minor arcana but once watch just watch graduation day is here this isn't just an ending to an to an old cycle and a beginning of a new one this is a graduation for all of the effort that you put into yourself and the universe has seen it they see it all I'm telling you, this is about them seeing everything that's happening here. Now, you have been in the in the Empress Energy Queen of Pentacles, okay? From what this says. Once that once the divine makes the call, sorry, buddy, time is up. You didn't do what you were told to do. Time is up, right? The wheel turns. Done. Time is up. The new cycle begins. A judgment call is made on the situation by the divine. They're going to make the judge of who did, who did put in the effort, who put in the effort, who didn't, and where this is going to go, and who is worthy of you, okay? They're making a, a judgment call, um, and I think they're going to send someone new in for you. That's what I'm kind of feeling like here, and it will lead to wish fulfillment. This is ultimate wish fulfillment. I feel like your person had been made this offer by the divine, but I feel like they just stood on it in stagnancy, stagnancy, stagnancy. We've got stagnancy everywhere. They, they like, um, knew they wanted to come forward really quickly and talk to you and take some action on their wish here, but they didn't. They ignored it. They ignored all the signs that were given to them. They ignored it. You did not. You allowed yourself to be led. And you were obedient. Obedient. And because of that, you're going to get rewarded. Okay, so watch. You went from this 
as soon as graduation day comes, do 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 do, you graduate, you turn from this empress into this empress. They give you that crown, they give you that staff, they give you a whole new seat, all of this abundance, all of that abundance. I mean, it's, it's like, and then you get gifted with this. Baby, it's graduation day. And you earned all of these blessings. You're, you have more abundance coming, more knowledge coming. Um, you have raised your seat, okay? And I feel very strongly like they're kind of missing theirs. Yeah. At some point, the divine has to make a judgment call because, you know, you've been raised to a whole new level because you allowed the divine to guide you. You know, you, you don't deserve to fall behind here. You deserve to get your happiness. So I feel like this is someone new entering into the picture. You're having someone new on the way. Um, someone new is coming. I feel like they're mixing it up here. And your person's going to be very burdened by this. They're very burdened right now because they do want to give you an apology, but they just keep standing there. That's it. I mean, you can want whatever, but if you don't put forth the action and you don't put forth the effort and you don't, you know, you're probably not going to get it. Yeah, well, but I feel like you have new love coming and I feel like you're able to enter this cycle and leave all of this in the past and not hurt. Not like you did in the past. Because you've got so much to look forward to and you know it because you're manifesting it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful energy, Cancer. It's very empowered. Keep moving forward. Yeah. Queen of Swords energy. I feel like you just want the truth from actually this could be the person that's with your person. This could be that other situation ship. That's the truth. Okay. Yeah. He's with the Queen of Swords. This person, sorry, he, she, with the Queen of Swords here in this um, toxic situation. Yeah, it's, yeah. I And because of that, this person still remains bound and chained. They're, they're missing, the time is up. Time's up. They've been warned about the time's up for how long? It's, this is it. I feel like here comes someone new. Someone new, I feel, is going to approach you because your person is still learning lessons. They still have too much to learn. And if they come forward to you right now, they're still attached to the devil, not learning their lessons. It's just going to put you right back where you were before. And the, the divine won't allow it. You've already, you've already graduated. You already graduated. You've already done the work. The universe has already granted you with new blessings. You know? I, I think you do know that. I really do. I think you know that. All right. Give me just a couple more, maybe, for my cancers. Ooh. Yeah, I really feel like someone new is coming into the picture. Um, and you're like, you know... Que sera, sera, whatever will be, will be. You're letting the divine just take care of things for you because you trust and you have faith and you're obedient and that's why you're getting blessed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like... Um, I feel like somebody really wants to talk to you. They're hanging on to your energy, though. This is someone who's holding on to your energy, okay? So, you know, they're just, right now, I mean, yeah, they've got this sword up here, but this is just them thinking about what they're going to say. 
pretty much throughout the whole entire reading while they sit on it and run out of time. And you're like, I have, I have too much going on here. You know, I've got, I've got all this coming in for me. I've got a new soulmate coming in for me. Um, I've got to grow all my pentacles, take care of my business. I've got hobbies, friends. I'm doing things that I enjoy. I've got to put healing energy back into the world so that we can spread happiness. I mean, I've got more lessons to learn spiritually. I mean, come on. You're like, I, you can't wait. You cannot wait, keep waiting for this person forever, right? That, I think that's what a lot of you are saying. Yeah, so get ready, Cancers. Um, I think everything kind of ends and new beginnings start somewhere in this October. Yeah. But this is what I've got for you today, guys. I am going to take this over to Patreon. Um, I'm going to go through the Mixed Emotions deck. Um, so there's a link to follow at the bottom of the description box if you want to join me over there. But um, until next time, Cancers, know I love you. I love you, man. Take care of you and peace out.